Wolf, former acting Homeland Security Secretary and Heritage Foundation visiting fellow. Um, great to see you tonight, Chad. I was watching that press conference and you heard Senator Cruz there. Um, Lindsey Graham, Republican from South Carolina, also came up to the microphone and essentially said this. He basically said that the administration is flat out lying that the policies of the Trump administration did not create this crisis. Actually, they helped it, and rolling those policies back was the problem. He also said that the messaging yesterday at that press conference with President Biden was all wrong, saying that we're building out the facilities, we're adding more beds, instead of saying we're sending people home was the wrong messaging to give to the migrants who are coming, admittedly, because of him and his policies. Well, I th absolutely. The press conference, uh, I was able to catch it as well. It was a very powerful uh, conference. I think what the senator saw uh, is what we have been saying for the past several months now, that the crisis that we see on the border is being driven by a number of steps and a number of policies that the Biden administration has taken. And some of the messaging, as you indicate, is just flat out incorrect and wrong. Uh, and you know, I would go so far as to say it's a lie. They continue to talk about uh, removing the vast majority of family units, and they don't do that. Uh, they are releasing family units into the country, uh, and there's, it goes on and on. But what we know is that the pull factors uh, from this administration, whether it's canceling our Remain in Mexico program, the asylum cooperative agreements, or not returning minors from the Northern Triangle under Title 42 authority, all three of those, as well as others, is what driving this surge today it can be mm. fixed. It can be fixed in under a week if they want to fix it. Um, and I would encourage them to do that. If they want to fix it, that's the, the operative word there. Um, many of the senators today that were speaking at that press conference also calling on President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris, who now is in charge of the southern border, um, to come down there to take a look at what's happening the same way that they did, not to just give access to the one facility that happens to be mm -hmm. the, you know, the shining star um, while the other ones are in shambles, to come there and address yeah. the problem head on. Yeah, absolutely. And that's that's the way to do it. Uh, what we know, you know, you played a clip from the congresswoman uh, who's probably been to the border once or twice in her entire life, has no idea the conditions and the difficulty of, of securing that border. Instead, you should look to a congressman, a Democratic congressman like Congressman Cuellar, who lives along the border in the Laredo area. His district is along that border, and he is the one sounding the alarm as well, saying that the yeah. Biden administration policies are not working. Sure. So if you don't believe Republicans, then you need to look at other Democratic congressmen who live along that border and understand border security and understand what it takes to secure that border and know that the policies that are under play, underway right now are not doing that. Yeah, and uh, as you mentioned, um, representatives in Congress that are on the border have been describing to us what the impact has been on their communities, human trafficking, drug problems, crime problems. Um, it's really an issue that has taxed the system, put a tremendous strain on the system. And you brought up uh, Congresswoman Omar, um, Ilhan Omar, and I just want to address what she said there for a second because she also said that these people, the migrants, are not not turning on the news. They don't know who the president is. They don't know what the policies are. That is also not true because we've reported on stories where they have specifically said to reporters um, at this network, but also on other networks, that they have said the reason that we're coming is because we know that we'll get in. Yeah, uh, of course they do. I mean, that's how it's being advertised to them, again, by the cartels and the smugglers. It's not only the messaging from the Biden administration, it's the actual policies. They know if they get UACs or they get, sorry, minors or they get families here to the border, that they will remain here. Very different than what we saw in 2020, where if those individuals came to the border, they were returned either to Mexico or back to their home countries and reunited with their families. It's a very different message that's being sent today. And, and the migrants absolutely are paying attention. Again, the congresswoman doesn't know what she's talking about. If you listen to the men and women uh, that secure that border every day, they interview a lot of these individuals as they pick them up illegally coming into the country, and they're saying just that. They're saying that the message is uh, it's okay to come into the country. And so, again, I, I feel for the Border Patrol. I feel for the men and women of CBP. They're being put in a very difficult position. They're doing the best that they can. But this is not, a, uh, this is not circumstances that they created. These are decisions being made higher up in the department, the White House and elsewhere. And I will just add to that, uh, of course, Chad, that the media is not going to have access uh, to see the facilities under the guise of the COVID problem until everything is straightened out. That's what the president himself said yesterday, and he doesn't know when that will be. So we'll be watching. Great to have you on the program tonight. Thank right. you. All right. Thank you.